Hi guys, today we're going to watch another Emirates Say 380 takeoff. Today it's not going to be the Expo, it's going to be the Airbus A380. We just think they're all the same one. The Emirates is turning. How old were them the building? How did they get out of the I hear the Emirates. Do you hear it? It's coming. Oh, where's your Atlantic? There you go. Emirates. That's my favourite train. I love the train. Taking the full length of the runway, he was up quite early, uh, directly in front of the runway visitor park. Normally, that particular. Are you happy? Yeah. I'm the concord is there. To go for a walk? Oh, I'm here. The concord. Come on then. We saw their airbus A330 depart earlier this morning to Orlando, and the Dreamliner is currently taxiing out for departure. We're very shortly heading for New York Airport. So, I can't believe we just about made it. Me and my mummy thought we didn't make it because we didn't have much petrol and there was a lot of traffic <laughs> jams. But we were so lucky that we just got there within two seconds. These little tiny two seconds. So about the Airbus A380, you'll probably recognise the differences. The other one had yellow dots on it, and this one didn't. So, you're probably thinking... What does the yellow dots one mean? It's an expo version. Okay, so... Do you want to go and have a look at Concord? Yes! <laughs> Come on then. Virgin Atlantic. Because we've not flown to New York or America for a while because of COVID and we only, this country could only start flying there again the other day so it's been brilliant and then what have we got here? A Manchester Airport is that they've got a cafe that leads to the Concord and you can book the tour from up inside and they do events and they've got the airplane model shop to do everything about airplanes and the air traffic control tower. Where's that? Over there. Oh that, yeah. That communicates everything that's happening. Messages to the pilots. The thing I like about Manchester Airport is that there's lots and lots of things to see. They've put them out of use. Like there's some private jets over there, and especially this R V R O. How would you say that? Avro. Yeah. R D X. One hundred. When did it first fly? Its first flight was 23rd September 2001. Okay, and what about the last flight? The last flight was on 6th February 2003. That's, that's not very That's not very long after. It's not, is it? I wonder why this was put out of use. Mm, I'm sure there's lots of information there for people to read. Yeah, and I wonder why that's... And I wonder 
how they get them there. I know. Well, they probably bring them on a big truck. Mm. So, what shall we do now? Uh, take a look inside it. It's like this. Make, making sure it's not damaged, aren't they? How could it get damaged? Oh, there's the rain there. That's a different air thing. It's still right air, but it's a different one. Okay, yeah, the other one had just landed and that one was ready to take off. What does this show you then? The inside of it. It does the safety demonstration. What does that show you? That shows you the inside. Draw it. 
in the back of that box. And I also have that one, but I broke it when I was little. They also have little tiny ones. Oh! Yeah! They like wheels. There we go, take out the models over there. Oh, they have pilot hats. That's the one that I have, this one. my 
Manchester Airport, you can actually book tickets to get on it. Thanks for watching Harrison's Aim TV. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the like button. And also, I love the Emirates plane!